Are you this person who is suffering from acne for a very long time? Are you this person who is also suffering from blackheads, whiteheads, large pores, and oily skin? Are you this person who invested a lot of skincare products, but actually nothing didn't even really work? If you're that person, then this video is for you. here in YouTube. If you want to know about my acne journey and how I was able to cure it, then please keep on watching. Before I'm going to share to you the product that I used that really cured my acne, I am going to share to you first the journey that I had when I was suffering from acne. Acne is a skin disease condition and one of the examples of that is yung picture na pinakita ko sa inyo. That was my skin before. I suffered from acne for 7 years. Siguro one of the reasons bakit ako nagka-acne is aside ng mama ko, may mga pinsan din ako na may mga pimples. Pero I think sa akin yung pinaka worst or worst condition and isa rin siguro sa nakapag-trigger sa acne ko is iba-iba ko ng products papalit-palit, hindi ako consistent sa skincare routine ko. So, it all started when I was in second year high school. At first, hindi ako bothered that time. Eh, nagtaka ako na 19 years old, 20 years old na ako, meron pa rin. Tapos, parang hindi na talaga siya makonsidered na pimples kasi ang dami na. Tapos, sobrang tagal na din siya. So, sa 7 years is pa on and off the relationship. Dami na ako. May time na siya. But most of the time, it chose to stay. <laughs> it chose to stay sa mukha ko. And kahit anong products na yung ginamit ko, is wala pa rin. So, I'm going to share to you first, ano ba yung mga nag-work sa akin na product, but hindi naman consistent yung effectivity niya. Siguro marami din yung factors kung bakit hindi consistent. And one of the factors is siguro yung pagiging inconsistent ko. So, the first skincare routine that really worked for me when I was in third year high school, yun yung pagpapakulo sa tubig with guava leaves. Or basta, yun, papakuloan yung guava leaves. And yung tubig na yun, you have to let it warm. Hindi naman yung sobrang init. Kasi, syempre, masusunog yung mukha mo. And the product na sabon na ginamit ko is very mild. The ivory soap ata yun, and that was that soap was for the baby, and I think available pa rin siya ngayon. And maganda yun siya na sabon para sa mga sensitive skin, sa mga irritated skin. Siguro na irritate na rin yung mukha ko that time, kasi kahit ano na lang yung mga ginagamit ko na product. Eh, bata pa ko that time, pero marami na talaga ako na pagdaanan. I followed that routine. I think one to two months, but after that, I stopped kasi nawala na yung pimples ko. Pimple marks na lang yung natira. After I stopped, after several months, hindi pa aabot ng one year is bumalik na naman yung pimples ko. Hindi ko alam kung ano na naman yung mga ginamit ko na skincare products. As far as I remember, wala talagang nag... Well, hindi na wala yung pimples ko. And fast forward tayo, second year college, may nakita akong isang product na nag-work sa akin. And yun yung Healing Oil Lotion. The process was not easy but it was worth it. I availed their facial for a month. So every week ako pumupunta dun. Actually, hindi sila dermatologist. Basta nag-facial lang sila. <laughs> kasi na-attract ako that time kasi ano lang, sobrang mura. Or after 2 months of using the peeling oil lotion, is nawala din talaga yung pimples ko and acne marks na lang. Pero yung process, hindi talaga madali. There was a time na I was not allowed to wash my face with water. So, ang ilalagay ko lang dapat talaga is yung peeling oil lotion. So, imagine, sobrang init dito sa Pinas. Tapos, summer pa that time. Tapos, namumula yung mukha ko. Sobrang init sa pakiramdam. Tapos, namamalat. Pero, after ilang months or one month or two months of using that product, is nawala naman talaga yung pimples ko. And, sabi nila is, hindi na kailangan everyday 
Pero ako kasi, nag-stop ako. Yun yung isa sa mga mali ko. That time, nag-stop ako. Tapos pag bumabalik na naman yung pimples ko is nagte-take na naman ako ng peeling oil lotion, papa-facial naman ako. Hindi talaga ako consistent. Kaya, hindi rin consistent yung effectivity ng product sa face ko. One to two years of having that kind of attitude na inconsistent and having that cycle, hindi talaga nag-effect na sa akin yung product. So, my parents finally decided, after kong grumadre, they decided na ipakonsult na ako sa dermatologist. So, pumunta ako sa Oroderm. Ang Oroderm is licensed talaga yan sila na dermatologist. Nagpakonsult ako, I avail their facial, their skincare products. May nireseta si doctor sa akin na doxycycline. I had to take that, I think, twice or thrice per day, tapos good for 14 days. And after the medication, after also following the skincare routine, is nawala din talaga yung breakout ko. Nagkaka-pimples ako, pero hindi na talaga gaya ng dati. But unfortunately, what I have said kanina, na very inconsistent ako, bumalik din talaga yung pimples ko kasi nag-stop ako gumamit ng skincare products nila. Tapos may mga rejuvenating products akong ginamit. Doon talaga na-trigger or doon talaga dumami yung pimples ko nung nagpa-vampire facial ako. As in six afternoon, lumabas talaga yung mga pimples ko. And yung pinakita ko sa inyo na picture kanina, that was the picture. And isa sa mga products na ginamit ko that time, I think yung mga tamano oil, grapeseed oil, rosehip oil. And I also tried to use the, the ordinary products like niacinamide, salicylic acid, but si wala talagang umepekto sa akin. So, I finally decided na, okay, tama na tong pagiging inconsistent ko. So, that time, naisip ko na naman na magpakonsult sa ibang doktor. Pero yung nasa hospital, pero dermatologist. So, she consulted me and she recommended mga products, skincare products lang, na kailangan kong gamitin good for one month. And after that is, I had to go back para mag-facial. And hindi ko alam na grabe din talaga yung way of pag-facial niya kasi ang dami kong pimple sa mukha, like overall. Tapos isa-isa niyang ini-injekan. Ay, although parang hindi ko alam paano yung antibiotic ba yun or basta treatment yun siya for pimples. Tapos sabi ko sa sarili ko na parang wala pa rin talagang improvement. After sa facial nito, after one month, pag makita ko wala talagang improvement sa mukha ko is babalik na talaga ako sa Oroderm. One month nang nakalipas, tapos may nakita akong post ni Miss Elaine Duran, tapos may mga kasamahan din ako sa work na they recommended na siguro I had to take medication kasi baka hindi na talaga to makaya sa ano lang, mga skincare routine. So, nakita ko yung post ni Miss Elaine Duran na nagamit siya ng isotretinoin. Doon parang na-introduce sa akin yung product na yun. So, nakita ko yung picture niya before and after. Nakita ko talaga na grabe. Mas grabe pa yung sa kanya kesa sa akin. So, I finally decided, siguro it's time na kailangan ko na din mag-take ng ganon. And nakita ko rin sa YouTube na maraming mga nag-try sa medication na yun at nakatulong talaga sa kanila to get rid of their acne. So, when I went back sa Oroderm, nagpakonsult ako and then sabi talaga ng doctor is I had to take acne checks, then nagpa-facial ako, bumili ako ng some skincare products nila. So, this is the product na tinitake ko. So, hindi kayo pwedeng mag-take nito without doctor's prescription. Hindi mo to siya basta-bastang mabibili over the counter. Before ka mareresitahan is iche-check ka pa ng doktor yung height mo, yung weight mo at yung cholesterol. Kasi isa yun siya sa mga factors kung ilang uh, tablets yung ite-take mo. I just want to tell this to you na please bear in mind na pag iinom ka nito, bawal ang buntis or bawal kang mabubuntis. Kasi it will really affect the baby. Yung pregnancy mo is maaapektuhan talaga. So, please be careful na lang. So, sa akin that time, the doctor recommended that I had to take like 6 capsules after I eat my dinner. And that is good for 7 months. This cost 1,500. 
So, imagine uh, every 5 days, kailangan kong may 1,500. Yes. Papasalamat din talaga ako sa Panginoon. Lord, thank you. Kasi He really provided everything that I need. He really provided a way para makure yung acne ko. Kasi I've been really praying to Him. Lord, sana mahin na talaga tong acne ko kasi I've done everything. Marami na rin ako nagasto. Kaya nga, sabi ko sa sarili ko, siguro pag may magtatanong sa akin ano yung mga pinaka malaking na invest ko. So sabihin ko talaga tong mukha ko. Eh hey, magasto siya pero guys, if you really want to get rid of acne, ilang years ka nang nag-trial and error sa pag gamit ng mga products and wala pa rin umepekto sa iyo kahit na umaga kang natulog, kahit anong diet ang ginawa mo is wala pa rin. Maybe it's time for you to consult your dermatologist. Alam niyo ba, isa sa mga reason kung bakit may mga eye speak scars ako, eye speak scars, yung scars na malalalim, parang may butas. Hindi naman yung sobrang lalim, pero merong maliliit. One of the reasons of that is uh, peeling oil lotion ako, di ba? May facial sila. So, I can see na hindi naman talaga professional yung gumagawa sa akin. Kaya isa sa mga reason is nabubutas talaga yung mukha ko. And ako kasi guys, lalo na noon, pag may mga puti-puti na sobrang laki, pinipisa ko kasi, piniprick ko kasi nang gigigil ako, gigigil ako sa'yo. <laughs> Bakit di ka pumuhawala dito sa mukha mo? Gigigil ako ganun. It's a big no to prick your acne if you want na hindi kayo magkaka-ice pick scars. Yun nga, yung sinabi ko kanina na if ever matagal ka na mag-trial and error sa pag-explore sa skin mo, please stop and start to consult a professional na dermatologist. Sa 7 years of having acne, meron talaga akong isang bagay na natutunan. And that is, having acne will never lessen your worth as a person. Kahit may acne ka, maganda ka pa rin. Whatever state of your skin is, you are still beautiful. Blur. You are still beautiful. You are still worth it. Worth it kang mahalin. Worth it kang pahalagahan. At worth it kang alagaan. Isa sa mga narealize ko nung nawala na yung pimples ko, narealize ko na, oo oh, nga no, ako pa rin to. Ako pa rin to si Don. Kahit nawala akong pimples or meron. This is still me. Everything is just the same. It's just so that yung pimples lang nung nawala. Pero, my worth it's just the same. So I just want to tell this to you, girls and boys, that you are worth it. You are handsome and beautiful. And sometimes it's the lies of the enemies that tell us na hindi ka maganda, hindi ka worth, kung pangit, pangit mo. Pero ang sinasabi ni God is, we are beautiful. Equally beautiful and handsome in His eyes. Because we are created in accordance to His image. So, I hope that this video really helped you to give you an idea on how to treat acne or what to consider. And I hope that this encouraged you na if ever hindi pa man yan matitreat is you are still worth it. You are still the same. You are still beautiful. I am going to make another video regarding on my journey of this product. Kasi mahaba-haba rin yung experience. I'm going to share to you the pros and cons of using this so that it will give you an idea kung ano ba yung mga side effects niya, ano ba yung mga results niya. So please stay tuned and please stay updated. If you have questions, clarifications, suggestions, then please comment it down. I will really reply all of your comments. And before you leave, Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell beside it so that you will be notified on my next video. I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!